Thank you. Um, I just left the position of the Chief Operating Officer of the Indiana Attorney General's Office, and I can tell you that all of the issues and questions raised today we had to address on a daily basis. And I just want to very quickly give you a comment which will reinforce uh, most of what is said, and that is more than, and by the way, my Attorney General is quoted on page 10 of the white paper. Uh, the, uh, more than five years ago, our office instituted a practice with respect to outside contracts that all contracts be posted on our website, and we actually had to notify the law firms that this was going to happen, and some chose, therefore, not to participate because they did not want their fee rate that they were giving us or otherwise should be. With respect to contingent fee agreements, in every case, we put them out to bid. And in the, what we discovered, uh, and the bid, we included a cap on the hourly rate, and generally the cap on the hourly rate, uh, this is back in Indiana, our cap was well below the average rate in California. For, uh, but because we instituted such a severe cap, we also therefore gave them a floor. And so we gave them about 100 bucks an hour as a floor because we, we would rather have paid that amount to keep the, uh, the windfall at a, at a minimum. Um, we also, again, more than five years ago, instituted the practice that the Attorney General would not accept a contribution from any vendor with whom he contracted, including law firms, and we didn't place any uh, time limit on it because we felt that if we were doing business that that was, in fact, uh, and I already told you we posted it on the website. The, the other thing that I want to tell you is that uh, just two quick things, and that is uh, contingent fee agreements are really very important to state government because most of us just don't have the dollars to pursue all of the wrongs. And one of the big areas we found this in was welfare fraud. We had a TANF case that had extended, uh, we discovered fraud over about five years. There was around $10 million in damages at issue, but it literally involved hundreds of thousands of documents and records, and we just didn't have the staff or the budget to support that. So by using a contingent fee arrangement, we were able to collect about $7 million out of the 10 and recover it on behalf of the state. We also did not always put all contracts out to bid because there were many situations, I shouldn't say many, there were some situations where we were looking for particular expertise to handle the specific legal issue and we did not feel that there were sufficiently, you know, a number of people that shared that expertise and in other cases there were emergency type situations where we needed to have uh, usually an injunction or something like that that had to be secured under short order. And so there were uh, some contracts that we simply did not bid. Uh, and then the final comment, just by way of anecdotal information in relation to uh, Peter's comments about the AG not being accountable to the governor, uh, I had the uh, privilege of having, when we took office, of having the governor from the opposing party and then after the next election with these types of reforms that we instituted, I might mention our Attorney General received the highest number of votes of any candidate for statewide office. Uh, that uh, changed and we had a governor of the same party. And quite frankly, the former situation was easier to cope with because uh, <laughs> primarily we, had, uh, we knew where we stood Whereas when you have a governor of the same party, then frequently they want you to be a little more lax perhaps in what you would otherwise do. But these are really fascinating questions and, and, uh, and I applaud the panel and their discussion and analysis and thank you for letting me to comment. Thank you for giving us that perspective. Is it, we need to, okay. We, um, panel members stay around for a few minutes uh, sure. in case there are some additional questions. Um, happy to. Okay, we'll be happy to. Um, Adam, if you want to come on up, I just want to thank the Federal Society of San Diego and the Tort Reform Association for sponsoring this. Very enlightening. I enjoyed it. And Adam Van Susteren. Yes. 
I just wanted to thank everyone for coming out. There's a class coming in at 1.30, so maybe some of the panelists will stay out in the hallway, maybe go to the reading room and answer any questions you have left. Let's all thank them.